Hi guys, this is Steve Lowe's Role Playing Games, and you're saying, Steve, you're wearing the same shirt as the last video. No, because I recorded the last video just a few minutes ago, and I was only planning on recording one video tonight, but that one was so short, I was like, oh, I'll do another one. Um, as you can tell, I was wearing a gas mask in the last video, that was not my GP5, because I got more. So we're going to talk about today. Got four gas masks. And I know what three of them are. <laughs> You'll see what I mean. Let's, uh, let's, the first one we're going to talk about is the one that didn't come with a case. And I know what it is. The one I was wearing in the last video is the uh, German M65 Draeger. Um, what I'm planning on doing is just, like, showing you the mask, basically, and then in this video. And then I'm planning on doing, like, a more detailed video on each specific mask individually. Um... I don't know if these, like, if a case is supposed to come with these, but I know I didn't get a case with mine when I ordered it. This is probably, like, um, out of, for practicality's sake, this would, like, if I, out of the masks I have so far, if I had to wear a mask in some kind of situation, it would be this one. Okay, like I said, I just want to go over these quickly. Um, the next one we, I want to do is, let's do this one. A Polish one. This one came in a bag. I am stupid. I mean, I, I'm like not smart, so I can't figure out how this latching si latch works. <laughs> like, it's probably really simple, but I'm just like, my brain can't figure out how this latch works, so I can't get it latch closed. Um, it has a bunch of Polish written on it. It can't, my, the instruction manual that came with this over there, it's all in Polish. It's old. Um, I like this mask. Like, I can't wear this mask because, one, it's one size too small, and I can't clean it out because I don't have any isopropyl alcohol to clean it out with. But even if I did, like I said, it's one size too small. But I like it. It looks cool. Um, the filter is really cool looking. Like, it looks like... Like, I had the GP5 filter, but it looks so much different than that. I mean, it's a Warsaw Pack filter. I mean, it doesn't look different. It's kind of just like a darker green, but like, like this, like feels. It almost it has a plastic feel to it, which is strange. It's weird. It doesn't look like it's gone all the way in there. But yeah, this is the Polish MC1. I think it is. Um, it has the um, XL valve up top, where the GP5 would have it on the bottom. I think it's also a. I don't know if it's just an XL valve or if there's a voice diaphragm too. Like I said, I don't want to use it because it's too small and I don't want talcum, talcum powder in my lungs. So, okay, there's that. Put that back in the thing. Okay, the next one, which is definitely my favorite bag out of all of them. Like, it's a nice rubberized bag. Like, it's very nice. Pop it open. And I think this is also probably the like my favorite mask aesthetically. Aesthetically, I don't know how to say that. Out of all of these, which is, it is, I almost said Swedish. No, it's Swiss from Switzerland. It, okay, this is everything it came with. Not everything. There's also something that I left in there because I didn't really think it mattered. It came with the bag. It came with this cloth, which I'm not, I don't know what it's for, but it came with it. It came with this, which I actually think is kind of cool. A little mold to keep it in shape for the face, which I think is cool. Um, this has, the, it came with the same filter as the other one. This is actually the filter that came with the Draeger, and the one on the Draeger is the one that came with this one. Um, because, um, the one in the Draeger isn't leaking, and I wore the Draeger a minute ago, so I didn't want to wear a leaky filter, because that's not exactly safe. <laughs> um, this filter is leaking, uh, activated carbon, so I don't want to breathe through it. Um, but, you know, as a display, uh, it's obviously fine. Um, I really like this. I think this mask looks really cool. Like, it's not, like, crazy fancy or anything. But one thing, the leather is... R leather. <laughs> the rubber is very soft, which is nice. It has, um, like, uh, elastic straps, which are work very well. It has a uh, big... It just looks cool. It reminds me of, um, of, like, a, um, a gas mask, uh, from, like, a German gas mask from World War II.
can't think of what they're called right offhand, but that's what it makes me think of. Um, which is strange. You would think that the German mask would remind me more of that, but it doesn't. Um, I want to get an Israeli civilian mask. Uh, oh, I really want to get an Israeli M M15. Because it's supposed to be like the Draeger, but, like, functionality better. Like, I definitely want to get one of those. I want to get an S10. The S10s seem really cool. I want to get an M10M. Just because they're, like, dirt cheap. Like, not GP5 dirt cheap, but still pretty cheap. Um, these weren't too expensive. I think I paid, like, 17 for this one, 19 for the Draeger, 17 for the MC1. And the other one I'm going to show you is free. Was free. Um, and I don't know where to buy it, because I have, like I said, no clue what it is. But, okay, let's look at that. Um... Hopefully you guys maybe will be able to help me figure out what it is, because I haven't been able to figure that out. Okay, there's one bit. Where's the other part? It's in two parts. I don't know where the other part was. Is it over there? It's probably, yeah, it's over there. Okay. This, it's this, and it's all beat up. I have no clue what this is. Um, if you're wondering where I got it, I volunteer at a thrift store near my house, and the lady that sorts clothes there, her name's Gloria, she's really nice, and this is apparently her son's, and I was talking to her about how I collected gas masks, and she said, oh, I have the gas mask at my house you can have, and I'm like, okay, yeah, and she brought this in, and I was like, I have no clue what that is, um, I like, obviously, I thanked her, but this is, like, really confusing to me. Up here, like, on, like, the forehead, it says U... I don't... You're not going to be able to see this, because it's, like... It says U-S-N, and then a U under that. Um, my best guess would that, that U-S-N would stand for U.S. Navy. And there's, like, a... Here, let me grab the canister. It's not, like, a normal filter. Okay, I'll show you this too. Why not? Fall over. So professional. Okay. I'll show you this because it has to do. Um, it came with this too. It's this and this. Um, the hoses are rotted. This was that's why this is two pieces. It came because the hoses are so rotted it fell off. But that's why that's like that. But what I'm thinking is that it's a rebreather. Because I've never seen a gas mask with a canister like this. Now, maybe it's some type of prototype I've never seen, or, I mean, I'm not saying I know everything about gas masks, far from it. I know there are people that own a lot more gas masks than me and know a lot more about me, because I've only been into gas masks for a few months. <laughs> um... But, like, if any of you guys know what this is, I, I want to know. Like, I'm definitely curious about it. But, like, when I search anything, like, I don't know what to search. Like, I can look up Rebreather, but, I mean, there's more equipment than just the canister and the mask. So I don't really get anywhere. Like, like I said, like, I don't know. Like, something I would want to do would be to open this canister up. But I don't want to damage it, because, like, it's it's a cool display piece. So I don't know, like, what to do with it. I mean, it's all rotten and, like, stuff, but it's still cool. I mean, obviously it's not still functional, but it, it's a cool, like, display. It's a cool thing to have. And then this. This is a Czech Army helmet. Um... It's, well, I don't know if it's army, but it's a Czech military helmet, probably army. I don't, I mean, Czechoslovakia is landlocked, so I doubt they have marines in the Iron Navy. Um, it's pretty nice. It's just the helmet. Um, yeah. It has, uh, what I'm pretty sure are the names of the people that wore it written on the inside. I don't, I think that's what it is. I don't know what else it would be. Um, uh, there was like a bug in there or something, but there's like, they look like names, 
Like, so I, I guess that's what they are. I don't know, like, if you guys know about that, too, just comment. Cause like, this, like, if you guys, like, know anything and you want to tell me, go ahead. Because, like, I like learning about this stuff. Um, I'll tell you, like, that's, like, um, I like the mask. Cause like I said, I'm going to do an individual video for each mask. Because then I can go into more detail. Um, because I don't, like, if I went to detail on the each mask this video, it'd be, like, an hour long. And it would take us way too long to upload. So, that's why I'm not wearing a hat today. Because I figured, like, as soon as I do, like, I'm going to put the masks on in each individual video, except for the MC1. Um, I'm not wearing a hat because I want to do at least one of those videos, too. So I get some videos to upload. Like, so I don't have to be doing a video every night. So I can get a bunch of videos uploaded right now and then upload them throughout the week. Because I want to, like, start uploading more. Because I, like, there was, like, a month where I didn't upload anything, which I don't want to do. So, okay, this has been Siebel's Role Playing Games. Talk to you guys next time. Bye.